Hey, what's going on guys? In this video I'll be showing you how to upgrade your PS4 hard drive to a larger capacity or faster speed. Uh, now, the requirements for this are a screwdriver and a, an eligible hard drive. So, uh, the requirements for the hard drive are at least 5400 RPM, uh, 2.5 inches, which is uh, an exact requirement. You can't have uh, a 3.5 inch hard drive. 2.5 inches is what you'll typically find in laptops. 3.5 is usually what you would find in desktop computers. Uh, just order one online on Amazon or some other uh, place such as Newegg or something um, and you should find what you're looking for. Uh, it can be an SSD, it can be 7200 RPM, um, but the minimum uh, height or thickness or whatever is 9.5 millimeters so keep that in mind when you're ordering. Uh, so to start off we're going to need a uh, USB flash drive. This needs to be at least, I'd say, 512 megabytes. Um, usually that's not too hard to find at a store. Um, you might even not find anything under like 4 gigabytes. So uh, pick one up, only like $5, $10, and we can get started with this process. Alright, now once you have your hard drive or flash drive plugged in your computer, go ahead and open it up. Check to make sure you don't have any files that uh, you need to save. If you do, just put them on your desktop for now. We can always uh, revert back to uh, those files later. Uh, but what we need to do is go ahead and, and open up uh, Disk Utility on a Mac. If you're on a Windows computer, go ahead and just right click on your drive and you should see an option for um, Format. Go ahead and just choose Format or I think, I don't think it's Erase, but I'm pretty sure it's Format and you're going to need to format it to F or FAT32 and you can just do a quick format if you want, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so anyways on a Mac, go ahead and search in Spotlight Disk Utility. Go ahead and uh, select the drive that's plugged in. Choose Erase and you need to have it uh, MS-DOS FAT. Go ahead and choose that and then we can go ahead and give it a name. The name doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it PS4 update. It's going to be in all caps, don't worry. Uh, go and press erase. Choose erase. And it shouldn't take long depending on the drive. Uh, and there we go. So we can go and quit disk utility. And now what we need to do is we need to go into our web browser and we need to search PS4 1.50 update download. Alright. And then uh, there's going to be a bunch of news articles about uh, the download, uh, depending on when you're watching this, but uh, what you're going to want to find is PlayStation 4 PC software update method. I have a link for this in the description so you don't have to worry about trying to find that, uh, or else you could just Google it, it doesn't really matter. Um, now, just giving you a step by step of how you can uh, update it via a flash drive. So, we can go and just choose download now right here, and once we have it downloaded, go ahead and make a folder called PS4 and in that folder make another folder called update and put the update file in there. The update file should automatically be named PS4 update.pup and we're going to want to just drag that whole folder onto our flash drive. So the PS4 folder should be on our flash drive. Now this shouldn't take too long to copy over depending on what kind of flash drive you have. If you have a USB 3.0 flash drive into a USB 3 port, it should take just couple seconds really. Uh, USB 2.0 might take 10-20 uh, seconds. Uh, as you can see here it's going pretty quick and it should be done in just a minute. Now once that gets done safely eject it and we'll go ahead and pop that in to our PS4. Alright so popping off the cover for the PS4 is pretty easy. Just put your hands uh, the position that I had them right at the middle of that uh, shiny part and then go ahead and just slide it back. Uh, if it doesn't if you don't think it's going to come off easily, uh, don't try to break it, just uh, keep trying at different angles, trying to pull it out. And, and we need to find that uh, the screw with the triangle, circle, X, and square on it that uh, holds in the hard drive. Let's go ahead and unscrew that screw. Uh, make sure you're using a screwdriver that is pretty much perfect. You really don't want to strip this screw uh, for future purposes. Okay, so unscrew that. And then there's kind of like a little tab right there. You can just slide the hard drive back. 
and then on the hard drive there's black screws on uh, each of the four corners ish on the sides uh, you should be able to use the same size screwdriver that you just used so go ahead and take those off slide in the new hard drive just like the old one was in and go ahead and then slide back in the hard drive into the little hard drive bay and put that triangle circle x square screw back in again if it if you're uh, stripping the screw uh, that's really bad you really don't want to do that try to get a different screwdriver um, you just really need to have that screw in uh, so then go ahead and take the plastic cover and you're going to want to put it back on don't start right at the edge put it on more than halfway um, and then you don't want to force it in uh, if it's not going to go in wiggle it around a little bit and then then just slide it in uh, it is plastic it will break uh, you don't want to force it like that so then once that's back on you're going to want to go and uh, plug in the power back in into your PS4 and go ahead and put that USB stick in that had the update file so uh, wiggle that in one of the two USB ports in the front and go ahead and turn off your PS4 completely so you want to hold down the PS4 or the PS button on the controller and go to turn off PS4 uh, it's different from standby mode standby mode your PS4 will just sit with the light on turn off PS4 it will sit with no light on let's so make sure that light on the top uh, as shown is not on at all um, but you still want it to have it plugged into the wall and everything alright so now go and find the power button go and hold down on it until you hear a second beep uh, this should the second beep should come about seven to eight seconds after the first beep and once that happens go and take your finger off of that power button now the safe mode screen will pop up go and go down to number seven which is initialize ps4 it will reinstall the system software and then it'll take that update file from the USB drive and automatically install that. Uh, once that's done, it should take about five minutes. Uh, you should be able to go and start up your PS4. If you have P PlayStation Plus, all of your stuff should automatically sync back. You're gonna have to re-download some stuff and reinstall some games, but that's not too big of a deal. Um, but that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.